Hello everyone, good evening. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Just thought I'd just make this uh, video because at half past six this evening, I don't know how many of you watched um, the ITV news, national news. Now the second story, there was an in, um, a reporter, an ITV reporter, that went to France and actually watched with his own eyes this 11 meter dinghy with 50 people carrying it over the sand dunes and running, 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 running into the water. Before they got a chance to launch it, he asked one of them, where have you come from? Iraq, wherever. How long have you been here? Seven years, five in prison. And they want to get to the UK, obviously. Now, the, it was like something from Saving Private Ryan, seeing all of those people jump into boats or whatever. Or should I say Dunkirk? Probably Dunkirk is more um, apt. Um, the police, the French police don't care. They look on having a cigarette. And But one thing I want to say is, well done, ITV. If I could clap, I would clap and I would give you a round of applause because what you have done just there in this three-minute video, you have maybe made people more awake, the ones that are asleep. You've woken them up. You've also managed to boop off the left <laughs> because they will not like those scenes that you've filmed. So, like I say, I filmed it and it's coming up in very, very shortly. So let me know what you think of the actual report. Like I say, it's not perfect. The sound quality isn't great, but you get the gist. So, yeah, have a watch. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, Apologies for my <laughs> RAF moustache. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. And it's just amazing. So well done, ITV News. Well done, ITV News. Top draw, top draw, top journalism. <sighs> Video incoming in five, four, three, two. Now, ITV News has filmed the moment around 50 migrants boarded a dinghy in northern France to cross the channel to the UK. The group, which included at least one woman and two children, said they were from Iraqi Kurdistan. Now, it comes as record numbers have made the crossing in recent days, raising tensions between the UK and French governments. From northern France, our correspondent Dan Hewitt has this eyewitness report. <laughs> Jubilant as they emerge from the dunes with a craft that dwarfs them, this is the moment these migrants realise nothing now stands in their way. Children are carried as the men surge forward with the dinghy. It's not easy, but the momentum is now unstoppable. Are you scared? You have no, to? I'm not scared. No, it's Allah. 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 How long have you been in France? I seven years in France. Seven years? Five years in prison. He may have been in prison, but these Iraqi Kurds think freedom lies just over the channel. <laughs> Spaces on the boat are limited. Women and children go first, then an undignified scramble. <laughs> This launch is utterly brazen. There is not a single policeman around here. They've waited till the daylight, and we've probably got 50, I would guess, migrants, many of them who claim they're from Iraq, determined to cross the world's busiest shipping lane. The boat is full, but this man is determined not to miss his chance. Eventually, his fellow passengers do make room, but there are some left on the beach, perhaps with the smugglers who organised this voyage. As the dinghy disappears into the fog, we spot another boat launching further down the beach. The migrants know once they are afloat, the French authorities are powerless to stop them under international maritime law. The police eventually show up an hour after the boats have departed, there appears to be little urgency to their patrol and no sign this industrial scale people trafficking operation will be halted anytime soon. 
It was only yesterday that the French and British governments put out a joint statement saying they aim to stop 100% of these crossings, but from what we've seen today, that ambition is a very uh, long way off. Uh, we saw uh, an armada, really, of boats crossing the channel, coming in uh, to Dover. Uh, the resources devoted to this were extraordinary. Four lifeboats, coast guards and border force cutters. We understand up to 50 migrant vessels in total uh, made it across. It's a very long way from being solved for this crisis. Okay. Diane Rivers in Northern France, thank you.